morning students welcome to the science class up to now we were studying the adaptation in the animals that were based on their uh, living places where the animal lived particularly according to that they were adapted but do you know that adaptations are based on eating habits also yes if you don't know then we will start this topic now adaptations they are also based on eating habits different elements eat different things based on that their body are uh, is having some speciality that is adaptation based on the eating habit let us see what are these adaptations we know that some animals they eat only plants some animals they eat flesh of other animals while some animals eat both the things plants also and flesh also so let us study one by one all these animals coming to the first the animals that eat only plants they are called as herbivores herbivores they are having sharp teeth why they are having sharp teeth because the plant which they are eating they need to bite them cut them and grind it right so for that their teeth should be very strong and sharp thus they are having sharp teeth and strong teeth for biting and grinding purposes some examples are cow horses elephant sheep deer and goat coming to the next the animals that eat flesh so flesh eating animals are called as carnivores these animals they are having sharp teeth to tear the flesh and at the same time along with the sharp teeth their uh, uh, their uh, feet are also very strong so that they can run faster uh, than the animal which they want to eat right uh, some examples like uh, lion tiger and leopard they are the carnivores they always eat the flesh of an an another animal there are certain birds which are carnivores these birds are like eagle is there right eagle eat the flesh of any other small animal so for that they are having strong and sharp claws of their uh, uh, feet so that they can catch the flesh in their feet with the help of the talon right they are also having sharp beak and strong beak to tear off the flesh of the animal which they are eating now there are certain animals which eat both the things plants also and animals the flesh of the animals also these are called as omnivores right they are having sharp and strong teeth also as well as they are having uh, 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 the ability Uh, to tear the uh, uh, thing they are eating and also to chew the thing they are eating example are dog bear and human beings they eat both the things there are some birds which are omnivores they are like crow right uh, can eat both the thing right so this were adaptations of herbivores carnivores and omnivores right coming to the next topic care and concern for animals are uh, are you caring for the animals have you shown uh, any time concern towards the animal in your life if you have not shown then you should think over it animals they are important part of our environment if animals were not there we would not get many things in our daily life which we use especially dairy products so these animals they are important animals such as monkeys uh, squirrels they live on trees they eat fruit and then they scatter the seed which leads to growth of more and more plants which are very important for it they are a part of germination they are a part of pollination also right uh, certain animals like uh, herbivores they depend on plant for their food they are important part of our food chain right uh, they eat the plants herbivores eat the plant 
and they themselves herbivores themselves they are eaten by carnivores so this is a whole chain going on in our environment this chain is called as food chain so we should take care of the animals so if any of the member of this chain is not present if it is absent it means the whole environment will get disturbed and automatically we will also get disturbed we will not be uh, getting many things uh, of our daily life which we want at any cost right so animals they can be protected by following ways first some animals uh, uh, like uh, squirrel is there monkeys are there birds are there and many uh, more which lives on uh, which live on trees so what we should do is we should stop and we should maximum time avoid cutting the trees because trees they are the natural home of the wildlife we should stop cutting forest if forest will not be there where they will live imagine if your house is destroyed where you will live you will not get any place to live so similarly if we destroy forest means if we cut tree means we are destroying the house of animals so we should not destroy homes of this animal to protect them second thing certain things like leather bags belts fur coats they are made from the animal skin for that animals they are killed on wide numbers so we should avoid that using such things so that animals will be protected there are certain more ways in which we can uh, give proper attention to the animals these are first some of the animals like dogs are there they can be kept as uh, uh, kept in our home as pet some animals like cows buffaloes can be uh, kept in the farm as a farm animal we must take care of them when we are keeping the animals we should not keep them hungry we should provide them adequate amount of food and water we must clean them we must allow them to bath regularly right uh, we should give them comfortable shelter so that uh, they can be protected in uh, from a uh, very hot or very cold climate if they are sick we should take them to the veterinary doctor and provide them the vaccination at the proper time thus we should always take care of the animals which are near us and we should be a part of helping our environment in the next lecture students we will start the next chapter which is solid liquid sorry our next chapter which is air right till then keep studying science thank you